In the previous video, I talked about residual, which is the difference between the actual values and our forecasted values. On the same lines, we can calculate a forecasting error as the difference between the actual value of the future minus our forecasted value for the same. So essentially, this is our forecasting error for a particular value at time t plus h. Now remember, our goal here is to get this forecasting error as close to zero as possible. And if this value is closer to zero, it implies that these two values are equal, which means our forecasted values will be pretty close to the actual values and our forecast will be pretty accurate. And this is what I'm going to talk about in this section of the course. I'm going to talk about how to evaluate forecast accuracy of any model or any method that you will use. So we can summarize this forecasting error in various ways. And in this video, I'm going to talk about three ways where you can summarize this forecasting error. And from this, you can get a sense of uh, what is going on with the overall accuracy of the model. Remember, you will get one error for each of uh, the forecasted values. And we can summarize all of these values using any of these three methods. There are other measures as well. The first one is called mean absolute error. And the way we summarize these errors is we calculate the mean value of the absolute value of all these errors. These bars mean that these errors are in absolute terms and we are calculating uh, the mean value of these errors. So remember, sometimes we'll be over forecasting and sometimes we'll be under forecasting. That is, this error could be negative or positive. So what we are doing here is we are taking the absolute value of uh, those errors and taking the mean of it. So remember, uh, this is our error. So we are taking the absolute value of this and then we are summing up all these errors and dividing it by time period t and this way we are getting this mean value. Now the method that gives us a minimum mean absolute error it will be our forecast for the median which means if we are interested in forecasting uh, the median value of any variable any method that will minimize mean absolute error will give us the best result. And then we can also calculate the root mean squared error and this will be instead of taking the absolute values we square these errors and then we take the mean of it and finally we take the square root of it and this way we'll get root mean squared error so if a method is giving us minimum root mean squared error then our forecast will be best for the mean value now there is one problem with both of these methods that is, both 1 and 2, they are unit dependent. That is, if you are measuring a variable in dollars, these methods will give up your results in dollars. And if you are measuring your variable in any other currency, it will give you error in another currency. If you are comparing two currencies and one is measuring the currency in dollars, another in euros, then you can probably not compare these uh, two errors. If the unit is identical, then you can compare the errors across those two forecasting methods. Now, both of these methods are widely used. In this course, you can use any of these two measurements. And then we have another method which is called mean absolute percentage error. And this one is calculated as we get the percentage error and we take uh, the absolute value of it and then we calculate the mean for this value. And here this PT is calculated as our forecasting error which is from here and we divide it by the actual value which means how far away each error is from uh, the actual value. Now this measure is unit free which means you can compare two time series even with different units based on this measure. But there are a bunch of problems with this method as well. And the first problem is 
if our variable is equal to zero then pt is undefined we cannot calculate this on the other hand if value of our time series is very close to zero this means pt will be very large so these are the two problems with the, this measure there are other summary measure of uh, this forecasting error as well but most of the times you will be using either root mean squared error or mean absolute error so these are some of the forecasting accuracy measurements that you can use obviously we'll talk more about this in the future and we'll use uh, these uh, forecast accuracy measurements extensively in this class all right i'll see you in the next video bye bye